Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Let's move on to the next one, the type of angles. The first one is called acute angle. Acute angle is for angle that is less than 90 degree. The most common symbol for angle is theta. So acute angle is when the angle is less than 90 degree. The next one is called obtuse angle. An angle is called obtuse angle if it is between 90 and 180 degree. The third one is reflex angle. Reflex angle is when an angle is between 180 degree and 360 degree. Number four, the right angle. I think most of you understand what a right angle is, but I'll say it anyway. This is when an angle is exactly 90 degree. And this is usually symbol like this. Now, let's discuss about degree and radian. In degree, as we've seen before, a full rotation is 360 degree. On the other hand, in unit radian, a full rotation is 2 pi radian. That means 360 degree is equal to 2 pi radian. And because of that, we know that 180 degree is equal to pi radian. So, if I want to find just one degree, how many radian is that? I can move this one to the other side and becomes division. So I have 1 degree equals to pi over 180 radian. And because of this relation, we can convert any angle in degree by multiplying it with this to get its value in unit radian. For example here, 163 degree. Since we knew that 1 degree is equals to pi over 180 radian, to change 163 degree, we just need to multiply this with pi over 180. So 163 degree multiplied by pi over 180 radian. So put this in your calculator, you're going to get 2.845 radian. Let's see question B. So this one is a negative angle. So to change this angle into radian, you just need to multiply this number by pi over 180 radian. See, we can simplify this two number to be just minus 5 over 4 pi radian. You can leave your answer like this or you can put this in decimal. So this one will become negative. 3.927 radian. I like this one better, but it's up to you. So I'll leave this question here for you to do. Let's try this one first, then I'll give you the answer. Pause this video now. Now let's check your answer. So the answer for this one is minus pi over 6 radian. You can leave your answer like this, or you can put this in decimal. So the answer is negative 0 0.5236 radian. Very good. Now, what if we want to convert from radian to degree? Similar concept as in the previous slide, we know that in a full rotation, 2 pi radian is equal to 360 degree. So if I want to find just one radian, so I'm going to divide 360 degree over 2 pi. So this one will become 180 degree over pi. Let's see the first example here. To change this to degree, we need to multiply this. So 2.34 multiply this by 180 degree over pi. And this will give you 134.1 degree. Want to try again? We'll do the next one together. And then you are going to do question C on your own. Now, let's see question B. We have negative 3 pi radian. So to convert this to degree, we have negative 3 pi multiplied by 180 degree over pi. And we know that we can cancel this pi. So our final answer for this one is negative 540 degree. Now it's your turn. Pause this video now and try question C on your own. We'll check your answer after you are finished. 
Done? So your answer for this one, 45 degree. Good job. Let's move on to quadrant. As I said earlier, the Cartesian plane is equally divided into four quadrant. The first quadrant, the second quadrant, the third quadrant, and the fourth quadrant. In trigonometry, it is important to know which quadrant does an angle lies. So now, we are going to briefly dip into that. We know that this is 0 degree, and this is the 90 degree. We have here 180 degree, 270 degree, and a full cycle is 360 degree. The first example is quite the easiest. It's 37 degrees. We know that this is a positive angle. Positive angle means going to move in anti-clockwise rotation like this. And we know that 37 lies between 0 and 90 degree. Therefore, 37 degree lies in the first quadrant. Let's challenge ourselves. Let's see question B. In question B, this is a negative angle. Still remember what I said earlier about negative angle? See, in Cartesian plane, negative angle move in a clockwise direction like this. That means this is 0 degree. This is negative and 90 degree. This is negative 180 degree, negative 270 degree, and comes back here, negative 360 degree. The quadrant are all the same. This is the first quadrant, the second quadrant, the third quadrant, and the fourth quadrant. Negative 215 degrees lies between negative 180 degrees and negative 270 degrees. So, the angle belongs here. Therefore, this angle belongs to the second quadrant. Let's see question C. The first thing that you need to ask yourself is whether this is a positive or a negative angle. It's obviously a positive angle, right? So, which direction will it move? Is it an anti-clockwise or a clockwise? Since this is a positive angle, we know that this move in anti-clockwise rotation. But hold on. This one here exceeds 360 degree. This one shows that this is not in the first rotation. So let's continue to the second rotation. This is 450 degree. Moving on here, this is 540 degree. Now, let's focus here. We know that 425 is between 360 and 450. Therefore, this angle belongs to the first quadrant. Now, I want you to try question D on your own. Pause this video now and try to work out which quadrant does this angle lies. So what's your answer for question D? Your answer should be the third quadrant. This is a negative angle that means it moves in the clockwise direction. And since 120 degrees lies between negative 90 degree and negative 180 degree, therefore, it lies in the third quadrant over here. So, everything that we discuss in this video cover the most basic concept in trigonometry. Make sure to really understand the concept first before proceeding to the next one because it will get harder and harder. But as long as you keep on striving to understand, and not just to get it over with, you'll be fine. Please clear any misunderstanding and confusion with your lecturers. These are some exercises for you to try and check your understanding. So that's it for now. Thank you for your attention. Have a great day and take care.